Uh, greetings. Evening. UK Lauren. That's me. Grand. The name's Grand. Now look, your sister over there tells me you have a job for me. I said that a professional assassin like him would make an excellent addition to our roster of lunatics. Are you sure that's wise? Certainly fashionable at the very least. First thing, I prefer the term bounty hunter. Second, I am not some damn scrap beggar. You want me, you need to pay for me. Also, I'm kind of already in the middle of a job, so that'll cost you extra. I have my standards. Yes, I heard. You're after Diego. That's right. I'm here because of that Diego fellow. Right. So, you're gonna pay me or not? You know, Gwen, this is slightly odd, isn't it? It's a stalemate one way or another. But we could use it to our advantage. Just as we could use the talent of a consummate professional like himself. Fair enough. I trust he'll handle the payments? Sure, why not? Welcome aboard, Sir Gren. I'm no sir, sir. Welcome aboard, Gren. You've got to be joking. <laughs> this is absurd. Well said. What? No. You've got to be kidding me. Surely you jest. Until our fates 
cross again. Oh, joy. Press. We may now be on to something. Huh? Those sketches Kay and company brought back are becoming more and more fruitful as we speak. Huh? All right. I will talk slowly. Am I getting through? You be sassing me, young lady? Both of you, focus. Remember how I told you about the vault commissioned by Duke Robert? Well, that didn't totally come out of left field. After some prodding, the previously silent Estir came through with bountiful information. An anonymous noble sent us an heirloom. An antique script that once belonged to a certain Lauren. Namely, Count Roderick Lauren. I've managed to verify the accuracy of that script. The script is definitely authentic, but the dates presented within don't really fit our currently established patterns. If anything, that means our Count must have lived before Duke Woodrow and Duke Robert. Um, that's nice and all, but... Wait, now's the good part. Apparently, Count Roderick was an obscenely rich man. The script makes it blatantly clear in numerous places. In his final days, he expressed a simple desire to make his life's greatest wealth outlive him. Undisturbed, naturally. So, given what we already know, I ask this. Why would Roderick's successor construct a vault? Wait, does that mean the treasure exists after all? The treasure vault is real? Exactly. That's great news! Kay will love to hear about this. I've already sent him a letter. A big pile of money waiting to be found. Ha! <laughs> Now, in my days, we had to earn the money through sweat and blood. We were dirt poor and proud of it. Everything's so much dumber now. What's next? Monsters carrying money on themselves? Give me a break, kiddos. I'm sorry, but what the hell? Hmm. What's with him? He's crankier than usual. Aw, don't be mad. He had a really bad day. He had a what? What's worse than being dead? What in the places? The toilet's clogged again? Serious? Wobbling your crap yourself, people. Well, that happened. What? Uh. Uh. Let's see. Everything seems to be in order. Mr. Crucy, I wasn't told you were coming. My, how things change. Not that long ago, this place was but ashes and debris. Yet now, one can almost plant a foot without stepping in dung. Mr. Crucy? You have done a commendable job cleaning the verdigree. People are settling in. A modicum of trade has appeared. And you have rebuilt the castle and its surroundings in surprisingly adequate time, no less. We all try our best. Indeed. Which leads me to believe I may have to reconsider my approach to your debts. Oh? Your industrious actions made it clear that there was some unfortunate leniency in our agreement. 
Therefore, henceforth, the Furtive Union shall triple your monthly installments. What? Adversity brought great prospects out of this domain. Why lose the momentum? If anything, it will help you repay your obligations faster. But, but, but this is madness! Madness? This is business, Sir Kay. I shall contact you again in three months. Do not disappoint. Farewell. Ho <laughs> ho! Are you all right, Sonny? Uh... Just so you know, I heard everything. I always do. Even when you bathe and snore. And when you, well, do everything else. Uh... Quit blank facing me, son. Rise and smell the ashes. We have a job to do. This isn't the end of the world, you know. We'll adapt. We can manage. And maybe, just maybe, look into that treasure that sister of yours mentioned, huh? We don't even know if that's a thing. Yeah, yeah but I'd still try. Uh -huh. In the meantime, like I said, we'll have to adapt. Treasure or no, time's a waste. We'll have to work extra hard now. You really lived in a better time, didn't you? Ah, in my time, things were resolved at sword point. And the only form of currency was a punch to the throat. Jolly good times indeed. Doesn't sound like I would enjoy them anyhow. Ah, uh, enough of this jibber-jabber. With what happened, I want you to... Busier than usual. I did say we were gonna work extra hard. So off you go! Fight the power! Or something. I need to talk to the rest first. And that's how it went. Ooh! The nerve on that man! What an outrageously unrepentant asshole! I swear, I don't know whether I want to murder or marry that bastard! Yeah. Uh, moving on. There's no guarantee he won't pull that off again. Either we work ourselves to death or choose to pursue some risks. Gambling? Horse racing? Excessively brutal gladiatorial combat to the death? What? No! I'm talking about that whole ancient family treasure thing! Oh, right. It seems we have little choice. We must double our efforts. In the meantime, myth or no, we'll have to treat that treasure thing more seriously. Right. Still working on that. Nevertheless, we'll go deeper. Yep. If anything, Crucy's deeds prove you are doing something right, young master. Has he not told you that himself? You know, I'm pretty sure that was just despite us. Also a possibility. Uh, at least those guys from the Unity won't pester us anymore. Aha! There you are! People of Unity, assume the position! Griffith? Yes, Master K? Is there a god of bad luck? Why, yes. I believe certain regions of Minwei worship one. I feel like I need to subscribe to his newsletter. No more babbling! We're here on important business, yes we are! Bread! Gold! Coffee? Why the hell are you people here again? Haven't we done enough for you already? The voice of oppression speaks again! Oh, watch out, lady! Please, can't we all just calm down? Yes, we can. And yes, that's true. You proved a competent builder with that rebuilding effort of yours. Good job on that. He did. He did, you dolt. But this changes nothing. We won't be swayed by the government's blatant appeasement. Yeah, whatever that means. Isn't that exactly what you asked us to do? <laughs> but there is yet more to be done. You see, as a collective, we are not entirely convinced whether you can appropriately represent our ongoing goals and long-term interests. Someone's been hitting the thesaurus. What sort of long-term interests are we talking about here? You can build a house, that much is true. But can you build... a consensus? What? I'm talking about governance, lad. A community needs someone to pass judgment, someone to bring down law, a voice to resolve our disputes. Are you a bad enough dude for that? Huh? Think not. So, if I understood it correctly, you want me to tell you what to think? 
No! Actually, yeah, that sounds pretty close to what I want, yeah. Come on, it's human nature. Don't you want to judge things? Not even a little bit? No. But I have a very important issue that needs solving. So do I. Yeah, even though I'm an able adult, I'm going to stand here and complain loudly until someone gives me a solution. All right, all right, I'll do it. Ugh, that's great. Because, purely by accident, of course, we have a case just for you. Is that the only reason why you came here in the first place? Way to get no respect, Kay. Hey, cut me some slack, will you? It's not like I'm in a position of power that will enable me to actively gain their... Oh. <laughs> May I? Out there, there's a damn huge patch of contested land. It's an arable gold mine waiting to happen. Waiting, mind you. It isn't being used. Why's that? Uh, you see, there's a problem with ownership. Two rival families claim to have settled the land long, long ago and both treat it like their own. The end result is... Nobody really uses it. Junk is flying high and low, folks refuse to listen, and good lands are wasted. That's not good at all. Anyhow, this is where you need to lay down the smackdown, Mr. Lauren. This dung's been going on for far too long. You should meet with them and talk some common sense straight into their heads. Here, I'll show you on the map. What makes you think they'll listen? You're the fat cat here. That's your power, your mojo. Also, we tried to get a Shadurian philosopher to talk sense to them, but it ended in a tar and feather treatment. He screamed like a little girl! Or so I heard. Well, that's it. Good luck, you! People of Unity? Wait, I still don't know- well, in fact, I don't know anything at all! Just go there and be kingly. Let real life sort things out, you know? Like your grand-somethings. People of Unity, roll out! Mark my words, this is not the last time we've heard from them. The news tightens. Again. Hey, will of the people, right? Time to get to work. The magnificence! <laughs> Sure. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, I say. What the hell is that infernal noise? It's the lady from Shadow. What? Shadow! The lady from Shadow! She insisted on improving our armory. And you just let her? Yes, she did. Why on earth would you do that? She had a spanner! Crap! The door's locked! Is it me or is the floor vibrating? Oh, here comes a big one! Doc! Uh. Nothing's happening? Do you think it's safe to... I done it! I successfully installed a machine that automatically does the weapon racks! Why are you guys crouching? Oh, I see. You must be Kay of House Lauren. What made you realize? His valiant floor hugging? Uh, <laughs> yes, that's me. Please to meet ya. I'm Esther. Boy, I'm so glad you agreed to our academic exchange program. 
I can't wait to see how things are handled here in Rashtil. I agree to that. The Aksharte insisted. She's here as our official diplomatic guest from Shedu. An excellent opportunity to tighten our relations, if you ask me. Ah, so she's the one. Pleased to meet you, Miss Esther. Oh, hello. So you're a wizard, miss? Just Esther, thank you. And uh, no, my work is more of the mundane kind. Eh? I'm an engineer, or rather a machinist. There's plenty of cogs, clockwork, and metal involved. An ounce of magic may be out there too, but mostly it's just steam. I, uh... I thought most of the people of Shedu were wizards. Bingo! Most of them. Not me, though. What I do is science at its purest. The bright spirit of human ingenuity. I mean, why use magic when you can construct a machine to do magic for you? Why indeed? It's infinitely more reliable, too. What? Uh, excuse me. I think my machine may have, uh, malfunctioned. Permission to go clean the armory, Sir Kay? Uh, sure. Once again, I'm glad to be here. I'm so looking forward to working with you. See you later! Nice girl. Why am I not surprised that you like her? You could try being nice for a change, sis. It won't kill you, you know. Yes, but I'm sure the imminent explosion of one of her machines will. Hold on. She said it was an academic exchange program, right? That's correct. Well, then whom did we send? Shichiroji. You're screwing with me. No. Well, then how? They sent him back. What on earth? What happened here? This is disturbing. Proceed with care, young master. What's this? A rock of some sort? How do you think it got here? Perhaps it fell from the sky, disrupting the proceedings. I don't think that was the case. There's something odd about this rock. Uh, I finally managed to take a nap, and not a minute later, something comes out of the woodwork to poke me in the ass, figures. Hello there, little humans. Anything I can help you with? Wow! By the gods! Are you a dragon? Actually, I'm an iguana. Once upon a time, I stumbled upon a smokehouse and ate too much bacon, hence my size. What the hell, guys? Of course I'm a dragon. What do they even teach you in schools these days? <laughs> So, anyway, what's up? Are you the one behind the wanton destruction here? Sure thing, boss. Those dudes with pitchforks came here on their silly wagons right on the doorstep of my home and shouted and argued and made a big stinking noise. I hate when they do that. My migraine starts acting up. So, I came out and politely asked them to move. Then they started shouting even louder. There might have been a rock or two, or ten, so I ate them all. Makes sense, right? How utterly vile! I know, the taste was terrible. This cannot stand! Right, young master? Young master? It appears my employer may have been frozen due to utter terror. Hey, whatever floats your boat, as long as he's not screaming. So, are you going to fight me or something? If not, I'm gonna ask you to leave. It's rude to interrupt a nap like that. Indeed we will! Have at you! Wait, hold on for just a second. Young master? This dragon doesn't exactly strike me as evil. Don't you think he's a rather amiable fellow? He's eaten innocent people! Well, yeah, but it doesn't seem like they were very friendly in the first place. I still say we slay him. That's a rather extreme measure. I'm standing right here, you know. You said that you asked them to move? Yup. I even tried chatting with that fancy tall-hatted fellow. That's how humans denote authority, right? By the size of their hats. 
Anyway, he wasn't too thrilled. And then they started throwing rocks at you? Usually, I don't mind. This stuff happens all the time, for some reason. Hmm. When the news gets out, people will not take lightly to all this havoc. Yet what happened was a misunderstanding, and there's no need for further violence. I'm not saying what he did was justified, nor that it was reasonable, but allowing both sides to duke it out will end extremely poorly. That is true. Well, what can I say? I can't deny I'm a grouch, boss. I just want to be left alone. Is that so bad? <laughs> In that case, you need to work on your patience, Sir Dragon. What shall you do, young master? Well, we were supposed to negotiate, right? Then we will negotiate. I do not follow. So tell me, did you eat everyone? No survivors? What? No. I'm a dragon, not a pig. I have my standards, thank you. If you're looking for those other fellows, you'll find them in a village over the hill. Short walk, pleasant scenery. Uh, my thanks, Sir Dragon. Let's go, Griffith. <sighs> now that everyone has left and we can talk, that went uncharacteristically well, don't you think? You can say that again, young master. Truth be told, I was honestly amazed by how you handled this ordeal. A satisfying conclusion without bloodshed? I just didn't think them hitting each other would do any side any good. Your father would be proud. I... Thank you, Griffith. Hey guys, I, uh, I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for what you've done. For smelly, squishy, noisy humans, you're alright. Don't mention it. By the way, your smell, it's different than what I remember, but you mentioned you were of House Lauren, right? What of it? Nothing, I just thought, well, aren't you fellows supposed to be dead? Huh? I knew a Lauren once, upstanding chap, all regal, all diplomatic, eyes like bronze, words like silver, that sort of thing. Funny that it was you who came to broker an agreement. He would have done just the same. Can you tell me anything more about that Lauren? His name was Elrin, Elrond. Something like that. In my youth, I was a brazen, hot-headed lizard. People feared me, but he didn't. He offered me a place to stay. This place, in exchange for a share of my old horde. And before you ask, no, I don't possess that horde anymore. It wasn't much, but as I recall, he was desperate. Something about paying off a debt incurred by his idiotic ancestor. That sounds oddly familiar. He wanted to use that gold to marry into a wealthy clan from the land of Arlen, and go all robber baron on their precious resources, and he almost made it happen. Ironically, he died at sea while traveling to meet his would-be bride. They never secured the deal. What happened? I do not know for sure, though I remember hearing stories about a storm of the century. Poor Saad must have paddled right into it. <laughs> Destiny is one terrible tragedian. So, did you guys ever pay off that debt? To be honest, we were really hoping you could help us with that. 
Sins of the past still haunting the present. Poor, poor humans. All waxing poetic aside, I'm afraid I can't help you. I know nothing about your debt. Damn. However, I do know he was planning to visit his summer estate afterwards. Said he needed to show his ancestor's most prized possession to his brand new wife. A summer estate? Lady Elaine and Lady Gwendolyn have never found anything pertaining to a summer estate. Most prized possessions? Perhaps this is where the treasure vault was built. Sir Bakuri, do you know the location? Uh, sorry, boss. We'll have to investigate on our own then. You have our greatest thanks, noble Sir Bakuri. Good luck, little humans. Yo. Wait, what? Ah. Uh, I'm not convinced. Right. How freaking great! Only not. See you. Oh my! Let's see! Way to go! Again, why are we here? It's just snow. It's beautiful. It's cold. Would you believe that a year has passed already? Funny how things worked out. We're not out of the woods yet, Kay. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go back to my warm castle and make myself some warm tea and grab a warm blanket or two. Have fun freezing your toes off. Bit of a grouch, isn't she? Not exactly new and exciting news. She made a decent point, however. It is getting slightly cold. Uh... And by slightly cold, I mean really cold. Alright, alright, I get it, we're leaving. Um, guys? Thank you for everything you've done so far. Have faith, young master. <laughs> It was called after all. Kill me now. Ah, uh, my sinuses. The elite of House Lauren, ladies and gentlemen. 
What on earth made you think taking dreamy strolls outside right now was a good idea? What kind of idiot will it take? Hmm. At least you're here, I guess. Clean up your act and listen. The objectives for your next three months shall be... And, uh, just so you know, tissues exist. Also, those Unity fellows dropped by again. I think they were kind of surprised to see ghosts, but who cares anyway? Their leader is rather keen to speak with you. Have faith, young master. Perhaps they're finally <laughs> ready to recognize your supreme authority. <laughs> that said, I really need to lie down. Same. Ah, it's can someone tell her to come tomorrow? My nose is killing me. Kids these days. Fragile twins, all of them. Please. <laughs> Fine. Just whatever you do, do it gently. Sorry to ask, but are you alone? That's very unusual for you. No offense. I thought we had to talk this through face to face. I'm all ears. You see, not a week ago, something began to happen to folks near the Dratir Cove. Cattle began vanishing without explanation. Some homesteads burned down, also seemingly without rhyme or reason. Hell, that's not the end of the weirdness. Some people claim that trees themselves moved when nobody's looking. And yeah, sure, you may say, stuff like that happens all the time. After all, it's rational. Normally, we'd grab a club or two and beat everything into submission. Or blackmail you into beating everything into submission. Or whatever. This time, however, it's a bit more... complicated. I don't see how. Elves, lad. Elves? Elves. Um... and? Old Red ran into one of them while taking a stroll through the woods. He swears he's never had to run so fast in his life before. I still don't understand the issue. We've had dealings with elves before. No, no, not these. Different coterie, you see. Whatever deals you may have had do not really apply to these fellers. And elves are bad news. Very bad news. So how can I help? Like I said, normally we'd rally around and open a can of good old-fashioned whoop-ass, but... Damn it, I may get riled up all too easy, but I sure as hell am not suicidal. So instead, you decided to come to me? Yep. Because I'm reliable? Sure, let's go with that. And disposable? Exactly! I'm glad you understand. As disturbing as it sounds, I promise that we'll try to investigate. Now that, that I like. Folks at Unity will be glad. You know... It's kind of nice that someone's finally fixing all this surrounding mess. Who knows? Maybe things will actually get better. Try not to die, will ya? We have arrived. Seems pretty peaceful to me. Perhaps the tales of all the supposed shenanigans were exaggerated. Well, here's our answer. Shall we, Griffith? Always. Human intruders. Bold move to come here after what you've done. Tell me, cowardly one. Will you return our oars? Or will there be blood? No, I'm lord of these lands and... Wait, what are you talking about? Words! No hurts. Turn away, manling, or I will gut you like the pig that you are. Uh, please, I just want to know what's going on. On my honor, I promise that House Lorne will neither harm nor disturb you. Our subjects claim that you've been harassing their livestock. All I want is some answers. Lauren? That's me, K of House Lauren. Lauren. Ha! You wear a familiar name, manling, but the Anam knows not of you. What mask lies upon thee? Huh? Amusing. Very well. Let us play. Hold on to your mask. We shall, in turn, don the masks of gracious hosts. 
You've come for answers, brain fever. Then answers you will get. Follow. They're here. Good. We are... I know who you are, Manly. You came to talk, so do not waste your breath on prattle. The Coterie will hear you out, as our guests. I didn't mean to offend, I just wanted to know why you were harassing the villagers. The Gull! What kind of question is that? Our hands are tied, and your cohorts are the force that tied them. Please, explain. The Coterie was never intended to linger in these woods for long. Our sights were set elsewhere, far beyond the eyes of Lysos orphans. Initially, we merely set up a temporary camp to replenish supplies. Yet before we could get back on the boat, some fat, useless, nitwit subject of yours decided to steal our oars. Wait, that's it? A villager stole your oars? But why? And where are they now? The Coterie does not know. Until they are found, we are grounded. The Anam grows restless. Until now, we have kept our peace, merely raiding for food. But we tire of inaction. The tribute for insolence will be paid in blood. Yeah, uh, well... If we seek out and return those oars to you, will you leave in peace? Hmm. Will you? Yes. That would be acceptable. After all, we owe something to the Lorid name. What do you mean? A story for another time. Very well. Then we shall depart. The eyes of the Coterie shall be upon you, Brain Fever. Play your role well. Brain Fever? All right, I've sent for you because we need to talk. Your leader told me that the elves became a nuisance suddenly and without provocation. But apparently, you haven't told me the whole truth. What happened to their oars? Oh, that... Oars? I wasn't there. Oars? Well... It clearly didn't happen, but I vaguely remember that they were moved. Well... Uh... Yeah, we kind of did. But why would you steal their stuff? Now they're unable to leave. It was self-defense. They'd attack us otherwise! We needed a sacrifice. Sacrifice? There's this rock in the woods, yeah? West of the grove, people say it's magic. That it is alive and grants wishes. My grandpa says it fell from the sky, it did! So we kind of give things to it and sing and dance and do stuff, you know, so that it may bless us, yeah? What? Oh, yeah, and we maybe may have given them oars to the rock, you know, so that it would destroy them elves before they could do harm. So you stole their oars and hoped that they would go away. That's right, miss. And you haven't thought that taking their oars would make them unable to go away? Uh... Again, what? Hey, don't blame us! We did all we could! Yeah, you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs, you know? Flawless logic. Never mind the fact that you gave the oars to a rock. Yeah, you know, folks have been doing it for quite some time. It's always been this way, so we figured, hey, why not? And it worked! The rock conjured up monsters! But they attacked us instead, so it kind of also didn't work, no? The monsters, the elves, everyone got all pissed and huffy, and then... And then you came to us. Yep. So, you gonna get those elves or what? Gods, what a mess. Maz, understatement of the century. This is bat crap crazy. Honestly, I get mind blown that something as utterly stupid and nonsensical as this ever happened. All right, people, we'll handle this. Meeting adjourned. Yeah, cool. People of the Unity, roll out! What do we do now? What can we do? We go after the oars, and after the... rock. 
Seriously, what the hell? Okay. On my honor. What? Have at thee! Ah. Well, young master. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Griffith? That the rock did not seem overtly evil? Yep, exactly what I was thinking. These monsters just happened to be nesting nearby. It was, in fact, a regular rock after all. What on earth were we thinking? Rocks dispensing curses? <laughs> Additionally, I would like to point out that the ores are nowhere to be seen, at least at first glance. Right, the ores. Sweep the surroundings! And nothing. I can't believe it. The ores are not here, Griffith. But why? Unless... Perhaps the rock really is magical. No, it's not. Let's not delve into that silliness. The question is, what happened to them? Or rather, how will we be able to placate the elves now? Conflict seems imminent. Just what we needed. More elven coteries to antagonize. I think we should talk to the Unity on this matter. What will you tell them? I don't know. Something? Anything? This is their business as much as ours. Let's go. Hello again, everyone. We really need to talk. Again? This is getting annoying. My feet hurt. We're listening. So we went to the grove and destroyed the rock. What? Why would you do that? We're doomed. What will we do now? The rock is gone. Told you we should have hanged him, I did. <laughs> now, now, calm down. What about the elves? Are they gone? That's the thing. We managed to fend off the monsters, which happened to be completely unrelated to the problem at hand, but that's slightly beyond the point. And we haven't found the ores. Are you sure you left them by the rock? Course we did! I'm not dumb, you know! Hey, guys, I'm confused. Does it mean the elves are still around? Oh, right. Good question. So the elves are still around, huh? They are, but they haven't made a move yet. I promise we'll try our best to find the ores. Useless! The old rulers would just kill them all like in the good old days! <laughs> well, I'd like to remind you that this whole problem is kind of your fault. You shouldn't have stolen those ores. Self-defense, it was self-defense. You're our king, you should do something about it! Do something! But... They're right. We wanted you to resolve this thing, not muddle it up. <sighs> oh, whatever. You tried, I guess. Maybe the situation is still salvageable. So, lads, any ideas? What should we ask him to do next? Get out. I I'm sorry, what? I've had enough! It is clear to me now that to you, this is nothing but a clever self-serving scheme, regardless of the cost. Does all of this mean nothing to you? This is your past too. Are our efforts just a convenient way to get around something that you, yourself, should have done a long, long time ago? Now just you wait, boyo! Get out! You want to pose threats to me and my family? Well, I will play your games no more. Be gone from my sight. All right, all right. You'll regret this, you. Okay. Yeah? Just so you know, I'm so goddamn proud of you right now. And so the hour comes, brain fever. What? Why are you here? Did I not tell you that the coterie would be watching? The kith grow weary of waiting. The anam demands blood. Have you fulfilled your end of the bargain? As we witnessed, your subjects did not provide much use. I don't know what to tell you. Despite our best efforts, we couldn't find the oars. Good. So blood it will be. Wait!
Uh, Master Ondoris? What? What's that thing you're carrying? Ah, these. Just some ores I found by some rock in the forest. Ugly things. But who knows? Maybe they'll be worth something to someone. Why? You wanna buy them? I could cut you a deal. Well... So are we settled? You'll leave us in peace? Aye. <laughs> what a surprising turn of events, my brain fever. One more thing. Before, back in the grove, you mentioned your coterie owing something to the Lorne name? Yes, that is true. But if you're searching for roots, this may prove to be a card that you should not uncover. What do you mean? You have no doubt heard the tale of the Crusades, a time when House Lorin died, buried with their city-state of Ascalia. But truth is rarely simple or singular. How much do you really know? Just the bare minimum, I'm afraid. Many tetrids ago, the then Lord Martell of House Lorin invited our coterie to his court. What? Why? Why, he had come to us with a proposal, and we agreed. He wanted us to stay with him, forever. What? He was a weak ruler and a weak man, one in desperate need of guidance. He wanted us. He needed us. And so he called out to the knight, and the kith answered. He surrendered his will, and we filled the cracks. But it was not by our hand that the tide of atrocities began. With our help, he said, he would become something more. A kith. A mere man, Lysos Orphan, calling himself a kith. Ha! Truly the mark of madness. Men and kith, sun and moon, day and night. Two paths never meant to converge. As the word spread, human lords, men of Shadu, men of Lordemar, grew afraid. A foothold for the kith in the heart of human lands? They were afraid. Then, one by one, came the diplomatic incidents. And so, in an unprecedented move, your history's two mortal enemies banded together against House Lorin. Your people know this event as the Crusades. Your land burned. The city was turned to ash, the kith were overpowered, and the Mad King Martell, our plaything and benefactor, was eliminated. I can't believe it! House Lauren! My family! Responsible for these crusades? All the destruction and suffering? Because of one loony guy? So speak the histories of the world, my brain fever. <sighs> this is a bit much to take in. But thank you, nevertheless. No debts between us remain now, Manling. May we one day meet on the field of battle. <laughs> Let me offer you one final bit of advice. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. What? Huh? Close enough, I guess. Huh? Ah. Okay.
No, 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 no. Okay. How freaking great. Only not. Okay.